Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my RPG tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be completing our bank. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let's go ahead and come down to our bank script. Let's assign our player to our data script. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna check if it's full or not. So we go if bank slot ID one equals zero. Then we'll go end. Then we're gonna copy and paste this a bunch of times. We're gonna go two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Four equals false. False. Four. Actually, that code's wrong. supposed to be does not equal zero. Thanks lot one ID does not equal zero. And we go flip these around, true and false. All right, so then we're gonna, just for testing purposes, we're gonna make so we can up, uh, get our bank up just by pressing a key. So let's go input, go get key down, key code dot h. I will show you I. Show you I equals show you I. So public game object. Thank you. I. If show you are thank you are selective true else thank you are dot selective false save that. So now we're going to reference our inventory script. So let's go public inventory inventory script. Let's go public sprites public sprite. Actually, we've got public image. Up top, let's go using unionengine.ui. We've got public image. Invent. Bank invent images. Public image, bank images, bank invent images, and bank images. Let's 
the bank slot ID does not equal zero. Bank images one equals inventory script dot item sprites links ID You just talk to Sprite and you don't. else Um, so check that. Yep, so let's go ahead and copy that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to use our secret weapon, our control F. Seven, all right, gorgeous. And in our inventory script, we might be able to Copy that. Troll F item sprites. Inventory script dot item sprites images we'll replace with bank invent images
Control F, slot IDs. I'm just gonna change that to bank. Okay, we're not gonna change the banking managers, we're gonna change it to Inventory script well, slot IDs slot IDs Inventory script dot slot IDs one does not equal zero. Bank images one dot sprite is inventory script. I try it. Nah, that's right. So just gotta change this. Slot. IDs. I'm going to change it to slot IDs. Slot IDs. All right. Nice. All right. Let's come back to Unity. Let's come to our player and let's assign our inventory script. Okay, bank invent images. This might take a while, so I'll speed this up. We're just gonna drag in the I was broad. Next, we'll do the bank images. So, we'll make it eight long. Starts on zero, so that'll give us seven. All right, bank images done. That's gorgeous. We can drag in our bank canvas for our bank UI. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the play prefab. Let's come back, let's come to data, and let's search for add item. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and copy the add item function. Copy that. 
and we're going to paste it. I'm going to call this one add item bank. And then we are right to delete every single other Get rid of this too. Just to update. And got a one There's bank Q of the bank Q one. Get bank ID. Bank ID one equals zero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control F one to two three four five six. All right, let's sort out this stackable business. So get your slot of these S equals. ID one equals ID. Thank you, one. Update. Update. Update bank Q one Q plus click One, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Control F. One to two. And the three. And four. <coughs> Five. Six. And seven. So that's adding items. That's the main logic behind it, I'm pretty sure. So sense the ID, the quantity, and the boolean stackable. Alright, cool. So now we're going to come to our inventory slot script. if in bank if inventory script dot slot IDs slot ID This might be easier to um Yeah, still like this. Let's come to our inventory. So items price, let's look for stackable items. So these are all on circle, on circle, on circle, on circle, on circle. We've got some runes here, so we'll make them stackable. And so instead of the arrows, so let's just go 38 and 39. And now we'll just do the arrows because the runes aren't in the game yet. So we'll go even shoot us the ID equals 38 or Holy data data script. Data script. Okay, data done. Data script done. Add item bank and we'll send inventory script dot slot IDs slot ID so grab the ID then we'll go inventory script dot slot queues slot ID. Okay. True. Else, exact same thing. 
but false. All right. So let's save that. Go ahead and then we're going to come to our bank canvas. We're going to get all of our inventory slots. We're going to drag our player into the data script. And for our bank slots, we're just going to turn off our inventory slot. Alright, turn off the bank. Apply the value prefab. And I'm going to make a build and I shall see you in a second. Alright, here we are for the big almighty test. So H, yeah, H. Alright, so let's get some items in our inventory. Showing up on the inventory all fine and dandy. I think that's just the panel getting in the way at this point in time. So we can go ahead and Oh, so we're gonna have to change all of our all these into in bank. Yeah, cool. So we're just gonna get rid of the panel and change all of our things. In bank, and we need to delete our item. All right, so we got we got a handful of things to do here. Let's get our player on the bank canvas. We're gonna delete the panel. Prefab, I'm back completely. We're going to play a prefab. We're going to delete this panel. Drag our player back in. So now prefab is back. Now we're going to select all our inventory slots. And we're going to go in bank equals true. That's just for the invent in bank, the bank inventory side of things. All right, now uh, we're going to make delete. We may have delete items as we go, so let's go ahead. And open our programming thing back up. All right. Sounds like I'm entry and let's have a look for remove item. Come to our bank. I mean, our measures on system. Data dot remove item. We're going to have entry slips, quantities, quantity. Wow. 
Right, so that's data script dot remove item inventory scripts that I need. So let's just check that it works. Let's go control F remove remove in the slide. Actually, we can just go ahead and go slot A. All right. I'll make a build of that, and I shall see you in a second. All right, let's get into it. So let's spawn some items. And just like that, we... Right, so we've got to just quickly add the tiniest little bit of code, which is... If... Public bank bank script. We got you bank script dot full equals false. All right, thank you for joining for this very long episode. But now we've got everything working in the bank except for withdrawing items. So we shall get to that. Um, yeah, in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for coming for a ride. I shall see you in the next episode. Bye. Actually, welcome back. Last but not least, we're going to select all our inventory slots in our bank canvas. And we're just going to assign player, which has our bank script on it, into the bank script slot. We can apply our player prefab and we are good to go. I shall see you in the next episode. Bye.